Today we're going to look at PLC Next Engineer, specifically the simulation software for the Axial Line 1152. So we're going to go to the Phoenix Contact homepage. We're going to search for PLC Next Engineer. The software is a free download. The simulation software for the 1152 is a free download. The simulation for a 2152 and a 3152 um, will be part of a paid software package. So we're going to go here and set ourselves to international. We're going to go to software. We're going to go ahead and grab this simulation software for the 1152. You're also going to grab, if you don't already have, PLC Next Engineer 2022.0.2. This is the first version with simulation capabilities. If you would like the simulation software for a 2152 or a 3152, you're going to go ahead and go to the configure button at the top. This is going to bring you to a new page where you can add PLC Next add-ons. So sequential function chart editor, no license. We don't need application interface. We don't want Simulink. We don't need the safety editor. We're not going to add in safety C. We don't need an HMI generator right now. We don't need Ethernet topology at the moment, but we are going to add a license for the simulation. License type, we're going to do a single user. We're going to do one license. We're going to hit con finish configuration. You're going to get a solution ID. You can take that solution ID and send it to us, um, or you can send this, send it to yourself via email and then send the solution package over to us as well. So after you've installed the software, as well as the simulation software, we're going to open the software and we're going to start with a project template. Uh, we're going to start with an AXCF 1152 2022.0 version. All right, now that our template opens, we're going to write a quick project. We're going to go to the main program. I prefer structured text, so we're going to write a quick structured text program. We're going to do count equals count plus one. We're now going to add that variable. Now that that program is written, we're going to go up to the controller. We're going to go over to the cockpit. We're going to change from TCIP to simulation. And we're going to go ahead and hit connect to the controller going to start the PLC Next Engineer. If this is the first time you've started it, it's going to ask you for access through the firewall. This does take about three minutes to get started on my PC. Once the simulation starts, it's going to ask you for a username and a password. The username is admin, all lowercase, and the password is PLC Next all lowercase. The simulation has now started with the red shield up at the top. Now that we have the simulator started, we can go ahead and write the project. So we're going to go ahead and write the project to the controller. Controller has loaded the program. The controller is in run mode. We can go ahead and go to our main program. And as you can see, the counter is now counting up. Once you're done with the simulation, you can go ahead and disconnect from the controller. You can come down here to the PLC Next Engineer simulation engine that fired up. So this is just the console that you would get if you were in a PLC Next. As you can see here, I'm just going to close that out. And that ends the simulation.